the moving pointer on the map draws your attention to Phantom Island, about 40 miles north of Townsville in Queensland. Here a leprosarium for Aborigines is conducted by the Franciscan Missionaries of Mary. Over the quiet waters, the turtle boat approaches the island. The mission area in view comprises the Sisters' Convent, the Mission Church and Presbytery, and the hospital on the extreme right. I contracted the disease in 1945. I turned seven in September, and it was October that I was put on the death train and sent across the Phantom. I would have been seven year old and almost one month, or not even that. When you lived on Phantom Island, and you believed that you were there to die, you call yourself the living dead. You claim songs like Angel of Death and Peace in the Valley. That gives a good indication of how people were preparing themselves for their time to come. The emphasis was overwhelmingly on removal of the problem rather than on care or cure. Once people were out of sight, they were out of mind as well, so they would go on to some of these institutions and never see the light of day. Queensland was different. Queensland was much more barbaric. And it's, it's like um, having closure, I suppose, to something that's happened in the past that there's a need for closure. Phantom Island's like a home to me. And I describe it as, I describe myself as a Phantom Islander. I don't say I'm an ex-patient anymore. I have six children and 21 grandchildren and about seven great-grandchildren. And I would like them to know this story.